Hi hey guys, so we are back with sixth grade, chapter one, lesson two on prime factorization. You will need to know your prime numbers for doing this. Um, you can go onto Google um, Images or um, Google Spreadsheets or whatever, and you can download or print a tree of your prime numbers really easy, a list of them, whatever. So we're going to break it down. Basically, a prime number is a number you can only get to by multiplying one by itself. So two would be a prime number because one times two is two and you can't get to it any other way. Okay, seven prime number can't get to it any other way than one times seven can't divide it by any number other than one equally. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Number one is already done for you. So we're going to go ahead and do number two. Okay, so 90 I know that 3 times 30 is 90. Can you do 2 times 45? Absolutely. Any number that will get you to 90. Okay? 3 is a prime number. I'm going to circle that in orange because I need to know up here where I'm going to get that. Okay? How do I get 30? I'm going to do 3 times 10. That's the easiest way to get there. Circle that 3 because it's a prime number. Okay, 10 is 2 times 5, both prime numbers, circle them. Okay, so now up here, we're going to write 3 times 3 times 2 times 5, and that is our answer. Okay, we're going to go on to 48, okay? We could do 24 times 2, we can do 6 times 8, we can do any number of things. I'm going to go ahead and do 2 times 24 because that gets me a prime number faster. Okay, circle that 2, it's a prime number. Okay, 24. I'm going to go ahead and do 2 again times 12 because it gets me a prime number. 12. I can do 2 times 6, gets me a prime number. I can also do 3 times 4, doesn't matter as long as it gets you to 12, okay? 6 is going to be 2 times 3, both of which are prime, okay? So up here, we're going to write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. That's our whole answer. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go on to a super fun one. 204. I don't know my multiplication to get me to 204. Okay. But I do know that if I break up 200, I get 100 each. And if I break up four, I get two each. So I'm going to go ahead and do two times 102. That gets me a prime number. Okay. I also know that if I do 50 and 50, I get 100, and if I do 1 and 1, I get 2. So I'm going to go ahead and do 51 times 2. That 2 is a prime number, okay? To get 51, I had to look it up because I don't know anything that equals 51, but 3 times 17, both of which are prime, okay? So up here, 2 times 3 times 17 times 2. That's our whole answer. Okay? 400. I can do 4 times 100. I can do 2 times 200. I can do 20 times 20. I can do any number of things. I'm going to do 2 times 200 because it gets me a prime number. Okay, 200, okay, I'm going to do 2 times 100, because again, it gets me a prime number, okay, 100, I'm going to do 2 times 50, prime number, 2 times 25, prime number, 5 
times five, both prime numbers, okay? So all you're doing is breaking up the number underneath the little arrow that's there, okay? So up here, 400 is two times two times two times two times five times five. That's my answer. Okay? You can pause it. You can go back. You can watch it again. You can write down your work. You need to write down your work because you need to know how you got from 204 to 2 times 3 times 17 times 2. Okay? You've got to show your work. Okay. And now... You can see I've been using my board a little bit. Okay, so the next one, oh, four, number six, do it yourself. You totally can. Okay, number seven, we're going to write the number that the prime numbers are given for. So number seven, it's giving us the prime numbers that are at the bottom of that tree, and we're gonna have to multiply them. So this one says three times three, times 11, all of those are the prime numbers. I know that three times three is nine. And I know that nine times 11, 99. There's your answer. Okay, number eight. It's giving me two times two times seven times 13. This one has a 13. You might have to do a little bit of math on the side for it, okay? I know that two times two is four times seven times 13. I know that four times seven is 28, 28 times 13. And I'm gonna go over here and do 28 times 13, okay? Three times eight is 24. Three times two is six plus two more is eight. Okay, now we have to get another color because we are gonna say tick, tack, toe. Okay, doing that helps us to remember we need a placeholder zero there for our second row. Now, one times eight and one times two, so eight, two, add them up. Four plus one, zero is four. Eight plus eight, my favorite number, 16. One plus two, three. Your whole answer, 364, okay? You can do number nine. You totally can. Okay, so we're gonna go on to number 10. Remember, you can always go back, write the work down. It's almost better to watch me do it and then go back and write down your work so that you can watch while I'm doing it and you catch what I'm doing, okay? All right, so number 10 says a computer code is based in prime factors of 160. We need to write down the prime factor. So we're gonna write our 160. Well, first I'm gonna write number 10 and I'm gonna circle it. But, so 160, we need to make our tree, okay? I know that half of 16 is eight and it has a zero on it. So if I just do that, and then if I divide it by two, we're good. That gives me a prime number, okay? So there's one of my primes, okay? Now I just gotta break up 80. I'm gonna go two and 40. Gives me a prime number, okay? 40, I'm gonna probably go, let's do eight and five, gives me a prime number, okay? So, Can you do 10 and four? Absolutely. Okay. Eight, two times four, choose that prime number. Four is gonna be two and two. And I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can, good. Those are prime numbers, okay? So we're gonna have two times two times two times five times two times two, okay? So I'm gonna have 
two times two times five times two times two times two okay so one two three four five sets of two one two three four five and then a five okay okay so that's your whole answer for that one okay Erase this one. Okay. Number 11, it says that the combination for a lock is three digits. It's the prime factor is a 42, and we need to list those numbers from least to greatest. Piece of cake. We got this. Okay, so number 11, we have 42. Okay, we're gonna make up our tree, okay? Six times seven is 42, and seven's a prime number, I like that. Six, two times three, both prime numbers. So now all I gotta do is list them in order from smallest to biggest, which is gonna be two, three, seven. That's it, you're done. Okay, you guys are gonna go onto the back and at the top do one and two. You guys can do that, okay? We're gonna go down to where we're doing spiral reviews so I can give you guys a little bit of help refreshing your memory on what you guys did last year, okay? So we're gonna skip down to number three, okay? It says that a piano lesson is $15, okay? Wants to know an expression, which is just a number sentence, it's super easy, for five lessons. So if each lesson is $15, and we wanna know how much five lessons is, that's it. It's that easy. Okay, so that was number three on the back side of that page, okay? Number four, okay, gives us six, nine, five, zero, zero, and then three more zeros. Wants to give you this big long number to try and jam you up. It's gonna be really easy. It wants to know the value of the five. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is drop that five down, and it wouldn't matter what these numbers are. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna put zeros in for them because that gives me the value of five. Okay, so that right there, that's your answer. Okay. Okay, number five. It says the museum has 13,486 butterflies, 1,856 ants, and 13,859 beetles. We need to put them in order from smallest to biggest. So I'm just gonna write the numbers down and then we'll put them in order. Okay, so five. Okay, it says 13,468. It says one, eight, five, six. And it says 13, eight, five, nine. Now, remember when you're doing this, that we're kind of doing it kind of like alphabetical order. So if the number first is the same number, we're gonna go to the second number. If that number is the same, we're gonna go to the third number, okay? So this one is obviously the smallest number. That's gonna be our first number because we're doing it from smallest to biggest. Okay, so now all we have to worry about is these other two numbers. The one's the same, the three's the same, so now eight or four is the smallest, it's gonna be the four. So, and then the only number we have left, okay. So, what you're gonna write on your line is gonna be ants, okay, butterflies, I just wrote BF, and beetles, I just wrote B, okay?
Again, you can totally pause, rewind, go back, show your work. Always show your work. Okay, this says, number six says that Juan is reading a book that is 312 pages long. If he only reads 12 pages a day, how many days will it take him? So we need to write our 312 pages. And he's only reading 12 pages a day. So we need to know how many days. Okay, so 12 will not go into 3. 12 will go into 31. We're going to say twice for 24. We're going to subtract. Okay, one cannot take away four, so I need to borrow one from the three to make that 11. 11 minus four is seven. Two minus two is nothing. Seven is smaller than 12, so I can go ahead and bring down my two. Okay, 12 goes into 72 six times for 72. We subtract, we get nothing. So your answer is going to be 26, but it's a word problem. You need a word answer, and it wants to know how many days. So 26 days. Okay, that is it for 1.2. Come on back for 1.3.